Hi yogis, welcome to the full body power yoga workout. We'll begin an extended child's pose. So get comfortable, relax, and deepen your breath. Now rise up into a tabletop on your hands and knees for cat cow. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, lift your chin. Exhale, cat back, round your spine. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat back. One more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Then come back to a neutral spine and tabletop and pull your belly in so your lower abs are engaged. Keep this engagement and send your right heel back. From here, lower your chest and chin down to the mat in front of you, then press back up. Inhale. Exhale, lower so your chin touches the mat. Inhale, press back up. Keep going. Exhale to lower. Inhale to press up. And pinch your elbows into your sides as you do so, so this is like a half chaturanga push-up. Now just switch sides. Extend your left heel back. Lower your chin down to touch the mat. Then press back up. Exhale to lower. Inhale to press back up. Slow and controlled. Now come back to tabletop and set up a strong high plank. With your fingers fanned out wide, engage your hands and engage your arms so that you're really just flexing here. Then send it back to down dog and pedal out your legs. Press your chest towards your thighs and keep those hands engaged and strong. Now step your feet to the top of your mat about hip distance apart for a deep forward fold and interlace your hands behind your lower back to press your knuckles up to the ceiling for a chest expansion. Release your hands and toe heel your feet together to touch for halfway lift. Pull your shoulders together behind you for a flat back. Inhale, exhale forward fold. Inhale to mountain pose, stand up, arms up. As you exhale, forward fold, lead with your chest. Inhale, halfway lift for a long spine. Exhale, plant your hands and step back into Chaturanga Dandasana high to low plank. And remember, you can modify on your knees. Upward facing dog as you breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Inhale, look up, bend your knees. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift as you breathe in then forward fold as you breathe out. Inhale, mountain pose, come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, slow and strong. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. And again, inhale, look up. Exhale, top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Mountain pose. Exhale to fold. One more halfway lift, then chaturanga high to low plank. Up dog inhale, down dog exhale. Let's switch it up. Step to the top of your mat, toes and ankles touch. Halfway lift then fold. Inhale mountain pose, this time chair plane. Airplane your arms and sit back in a chair at the same time lift your heels off the mat. Inhale back to mountain pose. Then exhale, warrior three, extend your left heel back as you hinge forward. And gracefully catch yourself in a crescent lunge, bring your hands at heart center. Lower your back knee down to tap the mat, then inhale to lift back up. Exhale, lower and tap, inhale, lift up. Exhale, tap, inhale, lift. One more tap, then lift arms up, crescent lunge, inhale, Exhale, launch into warrior three, then come back to mountain pose. Big breath in. Exhale, chair plane, lift your heels. Inhale, back to mountain pose. Exhale, warrior three with your right heel back. Nice and slow, catch yourself in crescent lunge with your hands at heart center. And exhale, tap your back knee down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. 
exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap. This time, crescent lunge, arms up, then launch into warrior three. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, warrior three, left heel back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Tap. Inhale, lift. Tap. That's three. Lift. Tap. Two. Lift. Tap. One. Inhale, crescent lunge to warrior three. Inhale, mountain pose. Chair plane. Back to mountain pose as you breathe in, then warrior three, right heel back. Slowly catch in crescent lunge, then tap four times with your breath. You're basically doing pulsing lunges. Keep your weight in your front heel as you do so. After that last tap, inhale, crescent lunge, arms up. Exhale, warrior three. Then mountain pose, breathe in. Exhale, chair plane, heels lift. Inhale, mountain pose. Warrior three with your left heel back. Last time through on each leg. Crescent lunge, four taps on your own. Keep it slow and controlled so you can get the most muscle building benefits out of this. This time, inhale crescent, exhale warrior three, inhale mountain pose, chair plane, inhale mountain, warrior three, right heel back, crescent lunge, tap. Inhale lift, tap. Two more times, tap. Last one, tap. Nice and slow, crescent lunge, warrior three, find mountain pose, then separate your feet mat distance and squat down into your bare squat. So your torso and arms are parallel to the ground. Now reach your hands through your legs to grab onto your ankles. Shimmy your shoulders and triceps under your thighs and try to stay low. Take a 360 degree walk. Remember silly steps? These are silly circles. When you face the top of your mat, go the other way around. And hips stay low. Awesome. Reach your arms forward for bear squat and appreciate the burn for a moment. Then sit back onto your bottom and plant your hands behind you for reverse tabletop. Lift your hips off the mat and bend your elbows to lower your hips back down for tricep dips. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And keep going one breath, one movement. Keep your hands strong behind you and make sure you're bending your elbows to work those triceps. Awesome. Now take a seat and set up boat pose. Grab the backs of your knees and lift your chest up so your shoulders pinch together behind you. Maintain this strong posture and lean back until your core engages. To challenge, lift your legs off the mat, reach your arms up by your sides. And from here, inhale to straighten out your legs and reach your arms overhead. Exhale to hug your legs in tight. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Inhale open. Exhale close. And keep going like that, smooth and controlled. Follow your breath to stay calm. Now settle into a low boat, like boat pose, but low to the ground. Then release into a long body stretch, toe tips to fingertips. Reach your arms out like a T and extend your legs up to the ceiling. Inhale. As you exhale, lower your legs down to the left and you can stop at 45 degrees or bend your knees to modify. Inhale back to center, exhale legs to the right. Slow and controlled back to center, exhale to the left and keep going one breath, one movement. Try to keep your shoulders grounding down even if that means modifying for today. Just a couple more on each side.
Keep your breath calm and deep. Now pull your knees into your chest and relax your lower back for a few breaths. Then rock and roll the length of your spine front and back to gain momentum to rock and roll shoot or take any other transition to downward facing dog. And I've got a video of her rock and roll shoot linked below, so if you want to learn this fun transition, you can definitely take a couple of minutes to watch that and try it out a couple times. From down dog, make your way to a forearm plank. Then roll onto your right forearm and reach your left hand high for a side plank. Inhale. Exhale, thread your left arm underneath like you're threading the needle. Then inhale to reach up. Exhale, thread. Inhale, reach. Exhale, thread. And keep going like that. You can always modify by lowering your bottom knee down to the mat. Do what works for you so you're not wobbling around. Now switch sides. Left forearm down, right arm reaches up. Inhale, exhale thread. Inhale reach, exhale thread. Continue with your breath and keep your core firm and stay focused. Then come back to a forearm plank, press up to a high plank, and send it back to down dog. Now reach your right leg high, bend your knee, and open your hips for a nice stretch. Then straighten out your right leg and come forward to a high plank with your right leg lifted. Tap your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, reach your right leg back behind you knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap your left elbow. Reach, then low lunge. Spin your back heel down and set up warrior two with a big bend in your front knee. Firm up your core and keep both arms strong. Next is reverse triangle. Reach your right arm high and straighten out both legs. Big inhale to lengthen. Then exhale, set up your goddess squat with heels in, toes out, both knees bending open and your core is firm. For knee to elbow taps, inhale here, then exhale, launch your right knee up to tap your right elbow. Inhale, sink back into your squat, same leg, exhale, tap, knee to elbow. Inhale, squat, exhale, tap, and continue one breath, one movement, getting nice and low each time you come into your squat. Switch sides. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, tap, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, tap, and so on. Keep your gaze set on one spot to help with balance and to stay focused. This time, settle into your goddess squat, then straighten out both legs as your left toes pivot open for reverse triangle facing the back of your mat. Then set up warrior two. Sink into your front knee and keep everything strong and firm. From here, just reach both hands down to the mat, step back into a three-legged downward facing dog, facing the back of your mat with your left leg high. Open your hips, bend your knee for a nice big stretch. Keep your left leg lifting and come forward to a high plank, inhale. Exhale, tap, left knee, left elbow. Reach, knee to nose. Reach, tap across. Reach, set up high plank and lower all the way down to your belly. For half floor bow, 
Reach your right hand back to grab onto your right ankle. Extend your left arm out in front of you and peel everything off the mat. Lift your chest, your leg, your arm. Deepen your breath so you bob a little and try lifting your right leg a little higher. Release into belly shavasana. One ear down, arms out long by your sides, with your palms facing up, just relax. And to switch sides, draw your chin back to center, reach your left arm back to grab your left ankle, then extend your right arm in front of you and lift. Lift your leg into your hand and peel everything else off the mat. Keep lifting and breathing. And release. Belly Shavasana, but this time with your other ear down. Draw your chin back to center, plant your hands underneath your shoulders, and press up and back into a child's pose. Send a few deep breaths into your lower back. And you can stay here or take a sip of water, towel off, quick little break. We're gonna start our cool down now and just stretch it out. So it doesn't matter which side of the mat you're facing. Just come back to downward facing dog and inhale to reach your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Bring your right knee to the upper right corner of your mat and lay your shin flat. Do your best to make sure your hips are even so you're not shifting to your right side. You can stay lifted or lower down to your forearms. If you'd like to modify, try the figure four variation on screen. Sometimes this can help you get deep into the glute and hip area without having your entire body involved. So wherever you are, take a few deep breaths to relax and calm the body. You're welcome to stay where you are, or for a deeper variation, try the mermaid position. Rise up, reach your left hand back to grab onto your left ankle, and if you can, work your left toes into your wrist or elbow crease. And for the full expression of this posture, reach your right arm up and back to clasp fingers behind your head, but keep your chin up and heart lifting. Gentle release wherever you are and shift your weight to the right to swing your left leg around and above your right leg for cow face. Stack your knees and pull your ankles in. Bring your hands together at heart center and interlace your fingers, then press your palms forward inside out and then reach your palms overhead. Bend both elbows and pull your left elbow down so your right elbow lifts up and you should feel a nice opening through your right tricep and shoulder. Keep your chin up and relax your hips as much as you can. Now release just your arms and set up eagle arms. Left arm under right. Cross at your elbows and again at your wrists. Pull your elbows into your chest and round forward so you can rest your head on your arms. Relax and release tension.
slowly rise and undo everything for reverse tabletop. Plant your hands behind you and lift up through your hips and chest. Couple of big breaths to help open up your shoulders. Now make your way back to downward facing dog and switch sides. Inhale to reach your left leg high, exhale half pigeon. Set it up the same way that you did on the right side and take your time to settle into the pose. Make sure your hips are even so you're not shifting to your left and relax what you don't need. Relax your eyebrows, shoulders, fists, and hips. Just let it all go. Stay here or rise up for your mermaid variation. Reach your right arm back to grab your right ankle and work your toes into your elbow crease. Take your time. Let your body guide you, so try not to force something that doesn't feel right. Breathe deep and slow wherever you are. Now release. Shift your weight to the left to swing your right leg around and above your left leg for your cow face posture. Stack your right knee on top of your left and pull your ankles in close. Interlace your hands and reach your palms forward, then up to stretch and lengthen. Bend both elbows and pull your right elbow down to open up your left tricep and shoulder. Spine is tall, and relax your hips. For eagle arms, extend your arms forward, cross at the elbows, and again at the wrists right under left. Pull your elbows in tight towards your chest, then round your spine to forward fold and breathe. Slowly rise up, unravel, and set up reverse tabletop. With your hands behind you, lift your hips and keep your knees pressing forward as you open through your heart, chest, and arms. Now lower down for a seated forward fold and extend your legs straight in front of you with a little bend in your knees. Untuck your pelvis as much as you can. Then reach your arms overhead, inhale to lengthen your spine, Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold over your legs. From here, inhale, lengthen heart towards your toes. Exhale, hinge round and fold for just a couple more breaths. Now rise up, and for a happy baby, come onto your back. Grab your feet, spread your ankles open, and flatten out your back, hips, and shoulders. You're welcome to stay still or move around as much as you'd like, maybe rocking side to side or straighten out your legs, or one leg and then the other, anything that feels good for you.
release your feet, and take your hands to your knees above your hips. Just rock out little circles on your lower back. Then pull your right leg in and extend your left leg long down on the mat. Reach your right arm straight out from your side and pull your knee across the body for a big supine spinal twist. And if you'd like to go deeper, then bend your left knee, reach down with your right hand to grab your ankle for the bretzel variation. Inchworm your bottom knee two inches to the right and deepen your breath. You'll probably feel a lot of sensation in your quad, hip flexor, psoas, hips and shoulders. Breathe through it. Release your bretzel and come back to center to switch legs. Left knee pulls in, right leg goes long, and extend your left arm straight out from your side as you pull your left knee across the body. If you did on the other side, bend your right knee and reach down with your left hand to grab onto your ankle. Inchworm your bottom knee two inches to the left and hold here for a few deep, calm breaths. Release your bretzel. Come back to center and pull both knees in for one final squeeze. Then release into your final Shavasana. Completely let go. Gently close your eyes and relax your whole body, mind, and spirit giving time for you to soak in the benefits of your practice. You're welcome to stay here, but if you're ready to come out now, just reach your arms overhead and roll out your ankles and wrists. Then just curl up on one side and take your time as you press yourself up to a seated position with your hands at heart center. Take a moment to thank yourself for committing to your practice for tapping into your own personal power and strength, for staying focused and committed on your mat. And I thank you. Namaste. Awesome job. Let me know of what you thought of today's practice in the comments below and click the info underneath this video for more practices like this one. I also always uh, link up the music I use, the clothing I wear, and just everything you might wanna know in the info underneath all of my videos, so open those up. If you want week-long yoga routines, tips, and Sarah Beth Yoga news, sign up for my newsletter and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.